Today we're planting all WA natives. A lot of these are endemic to the Kings Park area. Basically we're delivering six seasons of flowering WA natives. We've got a huge range of colour and form. Nothing over 1.5 metre mark, so you know, ideal plants for the home garden as well. I really think that uh, Stirling Gardens, Council House and the malls are the best displays in the, in the CBD and, and look, CBD is, is where people come in and visit and it's, so it's really accessible for our members of the public and our visitors. People can come in, be inspired by what they're seeing and then hopefully try to grow these at home. WA natives are inherently water wise, they've, they've been evolving for millions of years to, to survive in our dry climate. First and foremost they're, they're water wise species so we'll be uh, reaping the rewards of, of saving water long term. They are also really important for our urban biodiversity. So they're providing food and, and, and habitat for our native bees, our really important pollinators, our birds. You can walk through any garden in the, in, in the city of Perth and you'll see our native honey eaters. Look, the response from the public has been overwhelmingly positive. You know, you, you only need to just um, spend a little bit of time in, in our gardens and you'll watch people stopping and taking photos and you know, really appreciating the, the, the pop and colour. And you know, we, we often get people sort of writing in and, and letting us know how much they, they love our garden. Look, if you want to come into um, the city of Perth, you will be amazed and bewildered by what you see. We've got species from all over the state. And look, keep coming back, because in summer, we've got more annuals on the way.